In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the best web hosting for you as a blogger, as an affiliate blogger, and as a beginner in blogging, affiliate marketing, and maybe web designing as well. So basically, let's just first discuss some types of web hostings. So uh, the in WordPress market, there are three major types of web hostings, uh, dedicated, shared, and VPS. Uh, first, let's just talk about the VPS one because it's best for beginners. It's uh, uh, like uh, beginners friendly because its price is a lot affordable and uh, anyone can afford it. Then uh, and what's in shared hosting technically shared hosting is a shared server where uh, resources are shared between multiple websites as its name suggests. Then we have the VPS one. Uh, VPS is basically a type of dedicated hosting uh, in uh, let's just talk about dedicated first and then we'll go on to the VPS. So the dedicated hosting is a hosting uh, where the resources are not shared but you have a dedicated server on which website is hosted. Here you have a bit faster speed and uh, you have uh, more security and all these kind of things but uh, the dedicated hosting is basically for large e-commerce stores or brands uh, who can afford uh, like high monthly cost and uh, as a beginner I think shared hosting is best for you. And then we have VPS. VPS is basically the type of dedicated hosting. Uh, it has virtual private servers. So, uh, the physical server is shared, but in the physical uh, storage, there are virtual servers created and uh, you have different servers. But it's uh, like it's between the dedicated and shared hosting. It's not completely dedicated. It's not completely shared. And uh, like it's a uh, uh, like between thing. So uh, in my opinion, uh, the shared hosting is best for you and uh, uh, both of th th these three services are provided by a hosting company and that company is ultahost.com not ultra but ultahost.com u-l-t-a-h-o-s-t and uh, why i think this web hosting is best for beginners because of their pricing and their services they have a uh, live chat support so if you have any problem you can ask them and they will solve your problem and uh, also pin system I'll, I'll tell you about that in the next lecture when we'll be setting up the hosting right now i just want to give you the information about this web hosting so to go to this web hosting what you can do is you can just go to webifiedhub.com slash altahost uh, if it seems difficult to you you can directly go to ultahost.com or just search on google for altahost and uh, you will get the web hosting here uh, altahost is just search for alta host and here you can see you have this uh, uh, hosting here or after the ads you have this web hosting so just go to the website and here you have this website so uh, uh, regarding their pricing plan shared hosting is 3.29 uh, per month and uh, you can have uh, 10,000 uh, visitors monthly and unlimited bandwidth free daily backups and free domain transfers then you have this uh, VPS hosting with one CPU core and you can create unlimited websites on this one VPS hosting and the dedicated server uh, with unlimited data transfer and uh, here you have some of the technical details I don't think uh, these are necessary for you and in my recommendation this plan is best for you VPS one uh, but if you want to go with the shared one you can also go with that it's up to you and then you have different types of web hosting shared VPS WordPress or dedicated WordPress hosting dedicated servers and Windows hosting as well and uh, here you have all the uh, things here and also this hosting is compared with other web hostings what the other hostings are charging and what this web hosting company is charging and uh, uh, what are the features provided by this web hosting and uh, you can uh, just uh, see the comparison you can just go through the website and you can visit out uh, all the details I just wanted to tell you about this web hosting company that this one uh, might be the best web hosting company for you as a beginner and uh, I think it is and in next uh, lecture we'll be setting up this web hosting and I'll show you its dashboard and how easy it is to use so let's just move on to the next lecture
in this lecture we are going to uh, do a demo that how you can buy a domain and web hosting and set up that domain and web hosting using altahost.com so first of all you have to go to altahost.com or you can uh, use uh, you can use google to search for it or you can just uh, go to webifydup.com slash altahost it's on you you can go from any link uh, then uh, here in hosting section you have this host wordpress hosting option and i recommend you this one uh, right now with uh, uh, alta host i have that vps one but i would recommend you to go with this one because it is easy to configure and it is dedicated to wordpress so you won't have any problem with that so uh, you have to click on this wordpress hosting and here you have multiple plans here uh, with alta host wordpress you have uh, uh, 2.90 dollars and uh, it is uh, for one website 10,000 visitors and 30 GB then you have WordPress starter which is with 100 websites and 4.90 dollars per month and I recommend you this one uh, because you have 100 websites and uh, uh, 100,000 visitors per month then 200 GB SSD free WordPress manager etc etc so you have multiple things and I recommend you this one but it's on your budget if you are starting out and you just want one website then I think this one is best for you and if you have a uh, like uh, a budget between something then you can go with 4.90 I think this is not a two uh, uh, there's not too much difference it is just two dollars per month so uh, you, it's on you you can go with any one of them I'll just select this one WordPress starter and then after selecting that plan you need a domain name and uh, 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 like uh, you, oh, you you want to connect a domain name as well because domain name is required for a web hosting so uh, to connect the domain name you can register a new domain name you also have uh, an option to transfer a domain from any other registrar like let's say you have bought uh, a domain name from GoDaddy or any other domain registrar so you can uh, transfer domain from that registrar or if you want to uh, use an existing domain name and uh, use uh, uh, the name servers from other uh, domain registrars like GoDaddy etc so you can also add that domain name and now I'll be registering my own domain name. So let's say I want a Khatin store. This is just for demo because I'm not going to buy that domain name because I already have domains. So I will be creating uh, the website in uh, next in the course uh, on a subdomain. And here I'm just giving you a demo. And here you have to select the extension and then just click on uh, use. And here you go. We just got the extension and we just got the domain name uh, with a free SSL. And now here uh, you just have to, if you want to, uh, you have different options. Uh, here uh, you can pay monthly, you can pay quarterly, you can pay annually, semi annually, annually, and then you can also pay bi annually and also tri annually. Tri annually means uh, the th uh, for three years. For three years, you just have to pay. 140 bucks uh, for uh, two years you just have to pay 99 bucks for uh, one year you have to pay 52 bucks and for for one month you have to pay 4.90 dollars so it's on you you can if you want to just test out you can go with monthly plan but to save money i would recommend because it would be your long-term business so i would recommend you this one tri-annual plan uh, so it would be easy for you as well and uh, it would be affordable for you as well then here you have to select the server location you have three locations new york toronto and uh frankfurt uh, in europe uh, so you can select any of these locations which is near you uh, uh, whether in uh, america north america or Europe uh, so you can just select a location from here if you want to add these add-ons you can uh, just add these add-ons but I'll just skip it uh, you can also add uh, the uh, website builder uh, but um, uh, like uh, uh, this one is free so you can also add it uh, but I don't want to go with it so and then you have this some SEO tools and things like that uh, but these are uh, the extensions which just uh, cost you and then you have this uh, site lock security you can add that as well and uh, then you have uh, like these add-ons if any add-on is free you can grab it if it's not uh, like it's paid then you can scrape it so we have a total bill of uh, we have total uh, we have total bill of 144.20 us dollars for three years with the domain name i'll just click on continue 
and now it's asking that if you want the id protection or not id protection basically protects your personal information on which your domain would be uh, registered uh, if you are uh, don't have uh, have the id protection then uh, you might receive some spam emails and uh, these kind of things so uh, id protection can uh, protect your privacy if you want to enable it you can enable it and uh, i think it's worth it so i'll enable it if you don't want to spend extra five dollars per year you can just uh, keep it disabled then click on content Continue. and here we have total bill of 149.2 us dollars and uh, if you have any coupon code you can apply it or you can search for coupon codes and maybe you will find some kind of coupon code and you can apply there here and uh, then here you have to uh, add your payment information i'll add email here info at hadeen.com so uh, this is the email and all the information and password and after adding information here i uh, i have to select a payment method uh, credit card or debit card uh, paypal bank transfer or bitcoin you have three payment methods you can pay with any of the payment methods and uh, i'll select uh, credit card debit card and here you have to add your card information and then click on check out now i'll not buy this one because i already have the hosting i already have the domain name on which i'll be doing all that stuff uh, so i'll skip it but when you will click on check out and you when you will pay uh, uh, do everything uh, you uh, the email will be sent to you with login details so you can log in there and uh, uh, after mm -hmm. logging in after logging in what you have to do is uh, you can just access all these kind of things uh, so uh, i'll just click on login button after you have done checkout you will receive the emails after the account is created you just have to click on login button or just go back to uh, alta host web main website and uh, there uh, just click on uh, uh, the login button and here uh, you have to enter e your email and password and i'll just click on login and here you can see right now i have two services first one is shared hosting the basic package and the second one is uh, linux vps hosting uh, this is basically the vps hosting so uh, you don't uh, need to like uh, understand this one but we'll select this one here this is the dashboard by alta host and here we have dashboard domains services which we have the billing information website security support and we also have the affiliates uh, affiliate program and uh, then we also have this a store where we can buy extra tools uh, but right now we are just uh, going to use this service shared hosting so i'll just go to this service and here you have uh, this uh, service pan uh, service panel now here you can just add email accounts uh, you have backup settings uh, sql uh, database uh, uh, settings php my admin these are all uh, uh, pro kind of things here you can just uh, create a test email if you uh, create an email like info at the rate my domain name dot com and then you also have the file manager so you can just go to file manager uh, to manage the files and from here directly you can log into the cpanel so this is a cpanel i'll just click on login to cpanel here my file manager is also opened in cpanel but i want to open the main cpanel so this is the main cpanel where we'll be creating the website and here you have all the things here but we'll just go to the wordpress and after going to wordpress i'll just click on install because i want to install uh, the wordpress website and here i'll just select the uh, uh, just remove this wp from here select the wordpress version and uh, then here you have to select the site name let's say i'll say affiliate website best affiliate deals this is just for the demo purpose then set the uh, username and password then what is the admin email and uh, then here you have to set uh, the uh, backups uh, uh, or uh, like uh, plugins and uh, which, you, which you want to install and then here language some advanced options are also there but uh, we don't want to play with those advanced options and then what you have to do is you just have to click on install uh, you can also receive information uh, email installation details on an email if you want to receive then just click on install and within a few seconds this uh, uh, website would be installed and wordpress would be installed on your website
now within a matter of few seconds here you can see the website has been installed and now you can just go to your website.com slash wp admin to access that website uh, and you will have to log in there uh, with your username and password but if uh, uh, you uh, but if you want to uh, just uh, directly go there you can just come here and you can uh, just log in and also you can uh, uh, log in using email and password and this is your wordpress dashboard basically on which we'll be creating the website and uh, this is how you can just manage it and from here you can just manage your wordpress uh, backups and all these things uh, like this is the wordpress manager and uh, here uh, you have all your installations this is our installation and and from here uh, you have different options like if you want to edit the details uh, from here you can just edit the password admin uh, admin username and admin password from here that can be edited and you can also limit uh, login attempts so uh, this is how it works this is how you can uh, log into your account that, that was all about this lecture uh, see you in next lecture in this lecture i will share with you that how you can uh, grab a uh, already monetized blog and how you can start earning from uh, that um, already monetized blog but uh, for that you will need some investment you will have to invest some money to buy that already monetized and already uh, established and already ranking a blog okay so to do that you will have to go to flippa.com and there i'll just go to browse and i'll just go to the website and from here in content uh, let's say i want to buy a review website so i'll select review and uh, after uh, going there uh, i'll have a, a directly complete directory of websites from where i can just buy websites here you can see this website is uh, this website uh, is making around uh, uh, 96 dollars per month and uh, they will uh, they will uh, sell it for 1100 dollars and there are a lot other websites you can see and then uh, here what you can do is for, you can add an, a keyword and uh, then if it is revenue generating or not i'll say it should be revenue generating then the website type uh, asset type uh, it's it amazon store android app domains etc etc so website and online businesses then uh, the website type it should be review or blog and then from here uh, you can select how much monthly users it has uh, minimum so i would say uh, let's say uh, 10000 minimum monthly users uh, and uh, then or let's say it's a thousand monthly uh, users and uh, then at the page views thousand minimum page views let's and uh, monthly net profit you can select the monthly net profit and what's your price range let's say my price range is a thousand dollars and then you can select uh, the uh, domain age as well and uh, you have a lot other filters what should be what should be its authority score and is uh, what should be the sale type includes only uh, verified revenue verified traffic etc and you can also add uh, that and then uh, the time left uh, and the status uh, status should be open and here you have all the websites here you can see this website is making one dollar per month they are selling it for that much then this one this website is making a six hundred dollars per month and they are selling this website for eight ten dollars then this website is making four dollars per month for several for eight dollars then uh, this is making eighteen dollars per month two sixty six dollars per month and uh, they are selling it for a thousand dollars so there are a lot of websites from which you can just buy a website and uh, like it would be a lot beneficial for you you can uh, just buy any of these websites and you can get started with it and you can uh, start blogging on it and i think that's a great idea to get started if you don't want to get started uh, from the start and uh, uh, that was all about this lecture i just wanted to share with you that you can use this tool called flipper to buy and sell the websites and uh, uh, if you have created the website you can also sell the website and i'll tell you about this as well and uh, that was all about this lecture see you next lecture till then bye bye
In this lecture, we are going to use SEO.domains to find expired domain names for our blog. Now, uh, you might be wondering uh, that what are uh, the expired domain names and why you need these expired domain names uh, if you don't know about them. So let me just tell you about uh, expired domain names first. So the expired domain names are the domains that were registered in past and uh, uh, there was a, an off-page uh, off SEO efforts uh, done for that uh, domain name and uh, that uh, domain has a significant presence but that domain name expired and was not renewed and now you can renew that domain name. So what would happen is uh, uh, if you will get a new domain name uh, you will have to get the backlinks, uh, you will have to wait for a year or two to get a good or get trustable in the eyes of Google. but with expired domain names, uh, you can get our expired domain name that is already established and you just have to publish the content and you will be easily able to rank. Okay, so that's why we use uh, expired domain names. Now, if you want to get the expired domain names, you can just go to Google and search for find expired domain names and you will get a lot of the directories here but I am using this SEO.domains. You can use any other directory. There are a lot other directories but this one seems easy to me. Just click on C domains now. And here you have all the domain names. Now you have to apply some filters from here. You can just apply the price filter. Uh, what is your price range? Let's say my price range is uh, $30 to $651. Then a domain authority. Domain authority should be uh, above uh, 10. Then uh, this referring domain, it should be plus 48 plus 50 let's say and uh, oh sorry plus it should be plus 50 and uh, then href dr it should be above 10 and then uh, this trust flow so this is basically by majestic uh, seo and trust flow means that how, uh, how much trusted are the backlinks uh, are the links to this website so i'll say 15 citation flow should also be 10 and then you can also select the monthly uniques and uh, then here you can select the tld let's say you want dot com only or you can select that and then you can add the language here as well you can select a language and uh, uh, then you have this category section in which category you want to buy a domain name and after that you can click on filter and you will get all domain names available in this criteria right now i have two domain names now i have this detail here links from 758 domains 6.edu uh, three years of history as website of platform for recru uh, recruitment this is an uh, this is a recruitment website this one netherlands or wrong uh, so domain cost zero as according to uh, raw tld rules or the price you pay though. so <laughs> this is dot ro website and uh, we can extend our budget if we want so that we can get more domain names so here you go we got more domain names the rose.ca which is worth 100 bucks and it is 17 years of history as a website services for young mothers and uh, 41 uh, uh, backlinks or uh, backlinks from 41 domains then the the slot uh, uh, the slots baby and uh, this wet bonus and uh, all these kind of websites are what you have right now so you have the websites listed and you can see the da and then uh, referring domains uh, uh, domain rating trust flow uh, citation flow google index monthly uniques then uh, first category second category the tld and uh, uh, in which language the, these websites are only this website and this website is in english uh, others are in other languages then uh, the pricing now uh, one more thing if you uh, if you have to check is the uh, website history what is the website history and uh, to do that you will go have to go to web dot archive dot org slash history to check the history of a specific website that you want to buy uh, so uh, you c will know that it is not linked to any uh, sorry website uh, archive dot org 
so i was not spelling it right uh, so it's web.archive.org and here you have to enter that domain's address that you want to buy and uh, you just have to click on uh, this one and uh, you will have the complete calendar uh, the complete details for uh, that website Let, uh, so this website here you can see in 2018 we'll see uh, uh, the screenshots of this website to confirm that these websites are not related to uh, uh, like adultery or any other thing that is illegal or that is like uh, uh, not uh, not good for our website reputation and uh, will uh, just uh, decrease our website reputation so this is a screenshot of our website from august 16 2018 uh, this website this is to just confirm the track record of the website that this website is not involved in anything unethical or illegal so here you can see as this was a casino website this is a casino website and here you can see that it's uh, also a gambling and slots website i was just to uh, get this one and let's see this website uh, how this looks so i'll just paste this link and i'll just go there so here we have the details for the rosebaby.ca and we'll see the details uh, this started in 2002 and uh, this is pretty old website and you can see let's say uh, let's see uh, what was the history of this website in uh, june uh, 2002 so it was uh, services for mothers website in june and then uh, june 2002 let's see in 2004 uh, let's say again june 14 So basically the screenshots are taken and we can see from the screenshot that this was a, a, like a good website, a trustable website in past. So here you can see, yep, it was the same in 2004 as well. Let's see in 2012. So in 2012. again the website was same and now let's see in here how the website was after that so here you can see uh, let's just come back just come back and let's just see in 2021 the calendar and I'll just click on April and we'll have a look on the snapshot. So according uh, to web.archive, this website seems trustable. Uh, this is a trust, uh, trustable website and if you, this relates to your uh, niche, you can just grab this website because this website is not uh, related to gambling, not related to any kind of adultery. This is uh, uh, like uh, a real website and uh, uh, in uh, its uh, track record past track record is also good so we can go with it so that uh, these are some of the things that you have to see like trust flow citation flow uh, uh, domain authority and uh, domain rating and referring domains and these are the uh, these are uh, the metrics this one d is by most.com so from most.com you can check it then uh, a, a, this is hrf's uh, domain rating then trust flow and citation flow is by uh, majestic seo so you can also check it and uh, uh, this was all about uh, all about uh, this lecture and uh, i hope you like this lecture and uh, like you can use other tools as well to find the expired domain names but uh, don't forget to check all these track records and all that past history of the website before just buying the domain name so that was all about this lecture see you next lecture